Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we are learning Megillah, page 28, in which continues to discuss the students asking their teachers, how did you merit to live a long life, a quality life? And I'd like to share with you a few beautiful answers. Rabbi Preda said, that there was never a time that someone beat me in the morning to the study hall. We find many times when it comes to athletes that they claim, and there's no reason to say it's not true, that they were actually mediocre at best when they were in high school and college, but they worked the hardest. They went onto that basketball court and practiced more than anyone else. They're the first ones there, last one out. And that's what made them great, by working extremely hard. And that's what he's saying, that I became the great person that I did become because of the hard work that I put in. It wasn't just that I was naturally a great scholar, but I worked hard at it. Rav Nechunia was also asked the same question, and he said a very important concept in Jewish philosophy that if you are forgiving of others, then Hashem, God, will actually be forgiving of you. Because we all make mistakes. And if we look at other people in a more favorable manner and say, okay, so they made a few mistakes. I'm willing to overlook it. So God will also overlook our flaws, our mistakes. Rav Zera the way that he was able to achieve a good, long, high-quality life, he said, Lo hikpadati betoch beti. I never got angry in my house. A person sometimes may have a lot of problems at work, and when they get back to their home, they explode, which, of course, leads to a tremendous amount of tension and stress. So he said, the way that I was able to achieve a high quality of life is I was very careful when I spoke to the people in my home, to my wife, to my children. I always spoke in a very calm and a respectful manner. And in that way, I was able to achieve a very high quality life.